Hi, today we're going to be working on this uh, Samsung notebook. Um, what uh, initially happened was the um, cables broke inside the charger here, and uh, because the customer was wiggling the cable around to try and get contact, ended up also breaking the the socket with the charger plugs in. Okay, so um, I've already done a repair here. Um, you can click on the link that's going to pop up now to show you how to make a repair to a, a the laptop charger cable. And uh, I'm going to show you now how to take the Samsung apart and how to replace this uh, charger socket. Okay, so basically you're going to remove, um, you're going to take out your battery and uh, just remove all these screws around here. Uh, take off, there's one screw here, take off this cover um, this particular laptop the back cover comes off and uh, there's, there's no other covers that, or keyboards that need to come off from the front everything comes around from the, fr from the front and plugs into the back of the motherboard okay. okay, so once you've got the back cover off there are a few cables that you need to unplug unplug the two cables that go to your Wi-Fi card Cable that this is your keyboard cable that plugs in the back here, and then there's a few other ribbon cables along here that all comes out. This is take out the cable that goes to your to your screen, and uh, then remove a few more screws in the motherboard. Yeah, one on this corner. Corner. and there you go okay so we've got the motherboard in hand um, unfortunately we're gonna have to take the motherboard out in this particular project because the charger socket is actually soldered into the motherboard it doesn't have a connector which connects um, with the cable to the board okay so we have <coughs> we have bought a couple of these connectors from the internet, a couple of dollars. Okay, don't try and repair it; it's not worth it. Um, you're going to unsolder it out and solder in a new one. Okay. Okay. So um, I've just unsoldered the old. Uh, socket from the board uh, a few things that I need to mention here one uh, the socket is attached here there's a, a very thin piece of motherboard here and uh, just take care don't force it I mean I, I reckon it would be quite easy to to snap that off there okay and um, the other thing I noticed was that um, the you've got these four uh, points here okay those are the mounting and you've got your three at the back for your contacts these are soldered on the top and on the bottom of the board okay so um, take your time taking the socket out uh, use some solder wick to help you to remove this on the old solder and uh, if necessary add new solder to some of the contacts and then try and take it off that helps sometimes uh, but you do need to take care because if you snap that motherboard there, that's uh, going to be a serious problem. Okay, so let's solder in the new, the new, the new socket. Okay, so um, we're going to solder in the, the new socket here. Uh, one thing to be careful of: there's a small surface-mounted component there. I don't know if you can see it in the video. Uh, just be very careful of that. It wouldn't take much to remove that with your soldering iron. So. Uh, Thing just go slowly and, and uh, carefully.
Okay, so now that we've finished soldering it, let's put it back together. So basically you're just going to put back everything in the reverse the way you took it out. Uh, while you've got your motherboard out, it's worth it to take off the fan and make sure that it's nice and clean here in front of the cooler. Okay. Okay, uh, before we put this all back together, let's just uh, give it a, a test before we put all the screws back in. Okay, let's plug in the charger. And the charge light comes on. Okay, so we've replaced that uh, successfully. This laptop will be back to normal. Thanks for watching. Remember, there's always a fix.